numb today. My daughter came over and we talked about we talked about my son and um, and it's hard not to speak the truth And the truth is, he made a pretty long series of choices that led to um, him dying two weeks ago, today. On that same day, I had taken a, a side job away from my regular work to help a friend who's a contractor, and I I worked um, like a long day, like a 12-hour day, and I made good money. I, I even remarked to myself, wow, I, I earned more money on this one day than, you know, for a, a regular honest day's work than I had, I don't know, I said maybe ever. And it's ironic <clears throat> that I was losing more than I ever lost on that same day. When I was working in the apartment it, late on that night, my son was still out in the cul-de-sac in front of his house playing ball with his roommates. And I thought, yeah, I should give him a call. I should, I should just check in with him. And I didn't do it. I remember thinking, it's late, he's got school. I have to get out of here. I wrapped up about midnight. He was still alive. And that night I went to bed while he was passing away. And I didn't I didn't sense anything. I sensed I sensed nothing. I know he did this. He chose to be doing this. I just, I can't believe it. I wish he had reached out to me. It would have been fine. better than this. So, just numb.